Alright, wanted to show you all some basic functions of this uh, variable DC power supply. This is the Tech Power TP3005T. Um, it's a, volt, uh, a current limiting uh, power supply. It, uh, it actually um, is, uh, works great. It's, it's really, really neat the things you can do with it and some of the testing you can do. Just run y'all, there's not much to it. I'm just gonna, just gonna run you all through some basic functions of what it does. Um, let's see, of course, just, uh, turn on the power button there. And I, I, I've started with everything zeroed out. I have hooked it up to this LED. It's just, uh, I think it's rated it, it's supposed to be running about 2.6 volts. Um, I probably won't go up that high because it looks like it doesn't uh, need to do that. Um, what I'll do first, I'm going to keep the amperage at zero. I'm going to turn up the voltage. What you do, I'm just going to tap the voltage button. And since this is the last digit that, I, that I've, um, that I've changed it automatically comes up is that I'm gonna you can cycle through these if you want to to change each one of these I'm gonna start right there um, and just turn it turn it to uh, turn the knob to 2.4 uh, volts and this is the so this is the maximum that voltage they'll go up to and see after a few seconds it it uh stops the the editing mode and goes back to um just the current current display and so uh I'll press the voltage button again um I can change the the um the see that's the 10 millivolt digit right there but I'm I'm just changing the the 100 millivolt digit right there in the middle um cuz that works for me on this one and so now that I've got that set up, it's uh, it's it's reading just a a small amount of voltage actually because it's it's sending a very small amount of current, um, and that's why it's measuring that 1.73. Um, and this see you also see that it's on constant current. That's because it hasn't reached the voltage yet, the maximum voltage that I have. So what I'll do. Is I'm gonna I'm gonna change the current here, and let's see, turn it up to that's uh, that's uh, 10 milliamps right there. You see, and it's the voltage has come up to 2.2 volts. And it's still on the lights by constant current. Um, let's see, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'll turn that down to zero. I'm gonna instead of the the 10 millivolts, I'm gonna go down to the millivolts and change that. So I'm going to go up just a little bit. You can see that LED light up just a little bit. You have to press the button again after just a few seconds. If you don't uh, do it, it goes back. So, 5 milliamps. See the voltage going up. And it's going to go up to the maximum amount. I've got it set at about 2.4, I think. Okay, and I... So... I can turn it up past, I can keep on turning the amperage up, but the thing is, it's not going to go up any higher than what I've got my voltage set. And you see the green light has changed from constant current to constant voltage. That's because I set the maximum voltage up. And it's going to hold that voltage because it, it doesn't want to go over that. So you see it, the milliamps have come back down to 28, even though I've got it set at 54. Um, but that's the maximum amperage. It's limited the the amps that it's sending through that LED um, because of the voltage that I've got it set up. You can actually lock by holding down this current button. It locks, and and so I think that means you can't you can't change anything um, by turning the knobs, the voltage, or the amperage. I'm going to turn that lock off. And so I'm going to go back down. And I'm going to turn it back down. Turn the amperage backs down. 
and you see as soon as I cross that threshold it goes back to constant current now the current is uh, controlling how much power goes through the LED so I can continue to turn that down so it went up to about what was that 20 milliamps I can turn that down to about um, turn that down to one milliamp and that LED is still lit I wanted to show you another way that you can use this also. Um, you can set the set a maximum current. So right here I've set it to 36. I can um, adjust that down or up or got it set to 36. So after I quit touching it for a second, it's gonna go back to the display. And so now what I can do, I can change the voltage. So you see right now it's listed as constant voltage. And I can continue to turn that up. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna change the the tens place there. Oh, there. There we are. There we go. I'm gonna keep on turning this up. You'll see that LED light up when I get to about 1.8. There. There we go. So you see it's getting brighter, and you see the the current starting to go up too as I turn up that voltage. And so since I've got it set at 36 reached its maximum so you see now it switched over to constant current since I've raised the voltage um, past um, the amount that I've set the amperage it it switches over to to constant current to let you know that the the current setting you have is limiting the power that you're putting into the LED right now you can see that it's got the light on the overcurrent protection. That's because I think I've I've got it set up in there where um, if it goes over a certain amperage, that it'll automatically just shut off the machine. What you do to turn the overcurrent protection on? I've got it set at about 5.3 amps right now. Is you just um, hold down the voltage button. Um, I wouldn't do that if you got anything hooked up to it because it does look like it changes the amperage. Um, if you turn on that overcurrent protection, um, let's see, I'll also just unplug this to show you. You can go into uh, the overcurrent protection. I'll show you how that's set up. I'm going to hold that on. Okay, so it's on. And I, that's how you turn it off right there. I can turn it off. Once you go to this overcurrent protection screen, you can, uh, by pressing the, the amp, um, the current adjustment, you can cycle through and turn it up, up or down to whatever amperage you want to be the maximum current to where I think this whole power supply will just shut off. hope that helps um, anybody who's uh, curious about um, this power supply, some of the basic functions, how to do it. If you feel like this video helped you out, please help me by contributing to my project fund. Thanks.